you know, PTSD is, and, and trauma in general, you know, is, it just really zaps people's quality of life. You know, it makes it so hard to, to connect, so hard to, you know, the, the things that sustain people, like community, you know, church, all that, all that kind of thing, um, it, it gets hard to deal with people on that level. It's hard to trust new people. So, you know, we tend to see a lot of isolationism and, and that is, you know, no way to live. It's, it's fun to intera interact with people and try to find a way to help them feel safe. You know, I think safety first is like the hallmark of, of trauma-related treatment. So you need to really establish a way for people to feel comfortable and vulnerable because the work of psychotherapy and even the work of engaging with a psychiatrist and talking about this stuff, it's, it's so vulnerable, it's so difficult. And so, you know, that's my challenge as a provider is to be able to, you know, meet someone, help them, you know, kind of understand how to engage and how to move forward. You know, one thing to remember with, with PTSD is that our ability to treat the illness has, has really changed and really advanced over the last, you know, couple of decades. You know, largely thanks to research at the Veterans Administration Hospital, they've really led the forefront of, you know, expanding the knowledge base. But, you know, we use that even in the civilian population. And PTSD is treatable. It's, um, it's manageable. We, we can improve people's mood symptoms, anxiety symptoms. Um, Really, I see people blossom all the time and reestablish connections, build new relationships, and kind of learn how to, how to be safe and, and kind of get back into life. And so that's very rewarding to see.